Mm -hmm. Just thinking of that data? Yes. Uh -huh. uh, you know, I've had a little problem with technology companies. Yes. And then the Central Intelligence Agency? Yeah. You know, when a president calls a president, yes, mm -hmm. you would think that the CIA is not on the telephone system of other nations or maybe even this nation. Mm. Now, uh, this transcript of the actual phone call, uh -huh. and the employee that happens to be the whistleblower, yes, and the director that doesn't know the identity of the individual, yes. Could you get me every telephone uh, that the CIA can listen in on? Oops. See, there's this thought mm -hmm, that a hardwired telephone lines require electricity, yes, and if the electricity is sewn into the individual, yes, you can make them say whatever you want. Now, maybe the new appointed director of the CIA would like to know, yes, during that telephone conversation, mm -hmm, was anything said that was controlled by the CIA so they could play the CIA, yes, so that you could obstruct the free and fair elections of the United States of America. You know, uh, international business machines? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any computers that I wasn't aware of? Yeah. A lot of these incorporated independent agencies of the United States of America have been buying their computer hardware. Yeah. From the IBM. <laughs> Could you tell me every computer that you've sold to every nation of the world, IBM? Right now! And then there's Ma Bell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of the telephone systems throughout uh, the world, for those nations that want to know, mm -hmm. did the CIA in some way tap a phone line? Mm -hmm. Not to violate the individual's right to speak to whomever they want, because, you know, if you have a transcript, obviously he said it. Uh, he's got to be guilty of an impeachable offense. Poop. But with the intention of amping the telephone so as to obligate a person to say something that they don't want to say. <clears throat> now, I know a lot of those that had lizards in their rectum thought that uh, sewing the electric grid in was their way of being on each other. <laughs> And it's not like the president of the United States would involve himself in anything like that, but <clears throat> there's the thought of you, the Central Intelligence Agency, intentionally taking the telephone system so as to obligate somebody to say something that they don't want to say. Oh, now when I look through the actual brains of those in the CIA, yes, Susan O'Sullivan, mm, you know, get me the employee. Oh, look at Mr. Catman himself. <coughs> Michael, that was the uh, the secretary director of CIA for 33 years. <laughs> you know, a lot of those in the Central Intelligence Agency don't know how to disconnect from the telephone system. <laughs> Why don't we make a few phone calls and see if we can control the speaking of any president of any nation of the world? <laughs> Hello, it's Paul. I wanted to amp your telephone system through the CIA's top secret way of making you say what you don't mean to say. <laughs> So that I can have you impeached six weeks before the free and fair elections of the United States of America. <laughs> now, when I know, okay, when I know, okay, when I know. <laughs>